I've thought about this a lot over the years. I used to be scared of that question. I'm interested in the journey of making images and how it makes me feel and how it might make someone else feel, but it doesn't have an objective meaning like some things have meaning. I just felt my way through it all, followed my heart and ideas and just kept making the work. I'm interested in, in the surreal and the strange and the otherworldly. You know, the sort of things which pull away from reality. Maybe that's because we're always in it, reality, that is. I just find it fascinating. With other art forms, painting, sculpture, you know, you begin with a canvas or, or a block of stone and you can make anything. Whereas there are these restrictions with photography. Your canvas is reality itself, so you have to start there. And all you're ever doing is, is changing that or, you know, shifting a perspective, showing your take on it. I spend a lot of time sketching and thinking over ideas. Sometimes I do get a very specific image in my head and I can see it and I sketch it and then I create it. For instance, one of the images I dreamed up a few years ago was a female figure forming the entire hull of a ship carrying the sails. And I created that image very specifically, you know, from the idea in my head, which then was made into a diagram and then was photographed. But then, for instance, with this project, with the water and the glass, I don't have an exact idea of what the work is going to look like. I just go with the idea and see where it takes me. Often I don't know what I'm even looking for until I see it, but that's what makes it so exciting. I'm led more by emotions and feelings and curiosity rather than concrete ideas or telling a specific story. I guess it's about trying to go somewhere new. It's like you're constantly looking for that next image, but you only find it by making it. In the studio, I make sure I have time to think and discuss. It's not like a fashion shoot where it's bam, bam, bam. It's a very slow process. I put on nice music that opens me up creatively. I get the camera set up, I have my sketchbook, and I just play. That's great. Just tilt your head a tiny bit round towards the back, and then just drop it a little. Yeah, great. So there are things I know I'm looking for, I look for shapes, the mood of an image, texture, the balance inside the frame, the weight of it, and how the body sits in the Just space. Put your front arm, like, down. Yeah, that's great. The relationship between the light and dark. And I look for that untouchable, unexplainable thing where, where an image just draws you in and it feels right. And, you know, where an image just works somehow you and you don't really know why. Twist a little bit so your front, your right shoulder comes forward and your left shoulder goes back. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, that's Maybe great. people will work out how I've done things, you know, that it's just a double exposure or that it's just glass and water. And there, perfect. 
perfect. Maybe they won't. I'm going to do that one again. But it's the experience of exploring those forms that's interesting to me. And with film, I don't know exactly what I'm going to get. So each time there's this bubbling excitement of what it could be, what's going to show up in the film when it's developed, what's going to have come through. And that feeling never gets old. It's never just about the final image. It's about the layers and how I got there and the time it took, but all of that feeds into the final image. You know, the thought process, the elements of chance, the not knowing until you see it. It's definitely a lengthy process. Shooting on film is a beautiful way of working. And for me, it seems to open up new possibilities. I wouldn't say it's better than any other medium. It just takes me on a different journey. We're used to having endless options now, as much as we want of everything. And so some amount of restriction, I think, is good. It creates boundaries of what's possible. And I think we need those. I mean, I do, for sure. They offer the space, a framework almost, to sit within, or a starting point, at least. I love the tactile nature of working with all these processes. Be it in the dark room, printing images, holding the negative, the chemistry, working with physical elements that you can see and touch. You know, there's, there's something about surrealism that for me makes the world a bigger place. Like there's more going on. You know, like the possibilities in life are endless and they're not constrained by what we think we know of the world. I think I work with the female figure as it's familiar to me. And it allows me a starting point I'm sure there are reasons for these things, you know? Reasons why I choose to express myself in this way, why I choose photography. One, two, three. I definitely see myself in the images I make somehow, even if it's just on an emotional level. The relationship I have with my models is really important. I have to feel a creative connection and trust them and know that they trust me. It's important that the model understands my practice because, you know, sometimes I'm asking them to stand in strange ways. I mean, you're vulnerable being photographed. So yeah, it's a real sort of trust thing going on. It's more important to me that people see what they want to see in the work, not what I see. I 
think people can get really caught up in in that side of things and in what a piece of art might mean or what it might be saying when it's just an image. Yeah. I think that looks fine. Um, yeah, so they're going to go with this file together. So we basically need to find out, well, work out what order, what order they're going to It go. is what it is. It's something to be looked at, to be seen, to be experienced. Um, yes, all of them are. There probably might be some others that aren't in the show, but... For me, the work just exists. Yeah. It's a product of my love of photography, my experiments, my energy, my time spent working. And if there is a depth to it, it will be more to do with the relationship between the work and the viewer. Maybe what they're going through, what they see in it, as opposed to the relationship between the work and me. I like it when people are surprised or they're not sure how something was created because that means there's mystery there, which I love. Or when they say something like, oh, that's so unusual, or I just get lost in it, or it reminds me of a dream I had. With the camera, you can capture things that our eyes can't see. You can freeze time. You can look at something again and again. You can show this strange version of reality and of the world that only exists in the camera. This is the body of work I'm hoping for. Something that sits in the spirit of surrealism, somewhere between truth and illusion.